Hey, everybody! I got the sim rig put back together! <laughs> As you can see, uh, trying a couple of things. Uh, first things first, I've got the iPad on here. Yay! Though I'm not going to keep it that big. So, what's the plan for tonight? Plan for tonight is we're going to go to Flight Sim Expo from Austin. We're going to go from uh, Austin Exec over to, so we're going to go to KEDC, which I don't know why it's called Bird's Nest. I've never heard of it called Bird's Nest before, but uh, turn off this real quick. There we go. So we're going to go from Bird's Nest, and we're going to... Do I have any options, really? What are, what are my options here? Here we go. That is a tiny runway. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to go from... We'll just take ramp 14 parking as my departure right there. Good. And then we're going to KEFD Ellington, Houston. Right next to where Flight Sim Expo will be. Flight Sim Expo 2023, not a sponsor. Uh, I don't have any wind speeds for EFD, so uh, looking at traffic, looking at the METAR, e Ellington is IFR. They are reporting winds 320 at 1.5, missed, visibility 6 miles, clouds broken 800. What's well, a good thing they got some nice... Right there. Let's look at the runways. Best wind is going to be three fives. And if we look at, and if I just show you what I'm looking at here, uh, I don't know how big that looks on your screen, but it should be about half of your screen. Oh, it's also off the screen too. Let's get it off the corner a little bit. Let's let's, let's let go. Whatever, right there. We'll just leave it there. I'm not touching it. Um, right, so, uh, if we look at the procedures here, um, we can see that, uh, on the approach side of the house, they have ILSs for 3-5 left, uh, they got a high, high can, K can, which I have no idea what that is, and they got an RNAV GPS for 3.5 left, nothing for 3.5 right. So we will, and if we look at these runways, right? So, I mean, even 3.5 right is fine too. It's uh, concrete, it's 4,600 feet. Uh, 3.5 left is, of course, good concrete at 9,000 feet. So um, we're going to plan for 3.5 left. It's going to be the plan. Um, but if we take a look here at the at the VFR maps here. There's, oh, what's this? What is going on here? Oh, drone flights. Is it active? Whatever. There, there's quite a bit of junk going on in here. So, um, and we are gonna go IFR. Uh, low altitude? Yeah. High altitude? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna leave this as direct in the GPS, and then we'll add it to things. And we're gonna fly current time too. All right, and we are flying the Dar PBM 930. Um, liveries. Which livery do I want to use? I don't want the Xbox One. I don't want the black one either. I think I'm gonna just leave it with the default livery. Okay, weight and balance. Let's go ahead and put some payload in this sucker. The pilot is a fatty, but our co-pilot's kind of light. And uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and do 100% fuel. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's good. We are almost to the forward limit, but that's okay. Um, maybe we'll put some baggage in here. 
Uh, we'll put some baggage here in the uh, rear passenger seat. Say 50 pounds of baggage. There we go. I'll move that back a little bit. Okay. Uh, failures are all off. Customization. We are flying 819er Yankee Sierra. So that's okay. Uh, liveries, weight and balance. Aircraft selection. All that is good. Good. Flight conditions. We are all off, off, off custom, and we are flying live weather. Other than that, we're doing the defaults. All right. Let's go. Fly it. While we do that, while that loads in, let's go ahead and take four flight here, and let's pick our route. So, K-E-E-C. Going to K. E-D-F, right? Yeah, EFD, EFD, Echo, Fox, David, return. And then I'm going to hit the procedures button, or the roots button, I should say. So, root advisor, we are ready to fly. It is dark. It's okay. Uh, root advisor, ooh, let's go ahead and just keep those batteries off for right now. Here we go. Uh, let's see here. That's a jet. We are not a jet. We are a turboprop. That's probably the one we're going to fly. Alexi 3, J-Lo, Bluebell, Bluebell 4 arrival. Uh, or... You could just do that. But that's over a month ago. Okay. Three weeks ago, two weeks ago, 11 times total. I think this is the route we're going to fly. We're going to fly the Alexi 3, J-Lo, to Bluebell, and the Bluebell 4 arrival. We will select that route. And so here we've got uh, the JLO 3 departure, if we show that plate. And I'm just going to go ahead and add it to my list of plates. Let's do, let's blow this up so you can see this much better. There we go. I know it's still only half the screen, but it's the way I'm looking at it, okay? So we got... Um, so if we're going to take off runway 31, we're doing the standard takeoff minimums here. Okay, radar is required. We do have radar in this thing. RNAV-1, Houston Terminal Aerial Rivals expect routing from Alexi. That's fine. This is the Alexi 3. So runway, takeoff runway 31, climb on a heading of 306 uh, for vectors to cross hook at or above 5,000. And then... We'll track east to Alexi, and then they will assign altitudes from there. Okay. Uh, so, basically, we're going to take off, and then they're going to vector, and then we'll vector ourselves around to hook. We are not online tonight, so we will not be uh, dealing with that. I'm really thinking this camera should probably be over here. Next time I do this, I'm going to transition the camera over to here because I think over here, because OBS and, and my chat window is over here, it's going to make more much more sense. Much more sense. And then you get a nice angle shot of me. Look at this side of my face. Uh, okay. Is there a second page to this? I don't think so. No. Okay. And there's one notum. What's the notum? Uh, EDC, uh, so, uh, Austin Exec, Standard Instrument Departure, uh, Alexi 3, add a note, aircraft not destined for the Houston Terminal Area or joining Victor 306 must file the Zenzi transition. All their data remains as published. Right. We are going to the Houston area, so we will be doing the Alexi transition, uh, continuing all the way on to Alexi. Otherwise, you would transfer off at Zenzi. Okay. Close that plate. And, you know, let me go to plates here and let me clean up my plates real quick. Uh, I don't need the new Braunfels stuff. Sort of minimums, takeoff minimums. And I, oops. I don't get rid of this plate too. There we go. All right, there we are. Done. So we got the Alexi 3 that we're working on. Okay. And this is the current stuff, so that's good. Uh, then uh, we need a plate here for, is, uh, let me also get the airport diagram in here, 
so we can just see this here so we're over here at the terminals we're gonna basically taxi alpha all the way to the end and we're gonna be out of here all right uh let's then and let me just move okay and it's hold and drag yes good there we go all right so let's add a plate here uh let's go to ellington let's start with the approach plates um Not the approach. K E F D. Those are departures. We want the arrival plates, the stars. We're doing the Bluebell 4. We're going to add that. And then we are also going to add the ILS localizer 35 left and the RNAV 35 left, just in case. And last but not least, I want the airport diagram. Okay. <laughs> and we will rebrief the, the Bluebell 4 here and the uh, approach as we get there. But basically, uh, Lano transition, Leona transition, JLO transition is what we're going to be doing from JLO and JLO. Where's JLO? Where is JLO on this map? There's Central Texas, there's Lano, there's Waco, there's College Station, there's the Blue Bell. There it is, JLO, right there. All right. So then we'll do JLO to Blue Bell. So JLO transition, we're going to. From JLO on TNV Romeo 266 to Bluebell, then from Bluebell, we're going to come down cross Sunday at 9,000. Now, flight wise, height wise, let me just close that now down. Oh, and also let's take a look at Ellington and see where we're gonna park here. Uh, if I press this button up here, that shows the FBO. So we got signature over there on the left, which is signature is where we're gonna go. So if we come in three, five left, basically we're gonna get on the ramp and exit to the left and be done at that. Hopefully we'll exit at Delta. Okay, cool. All right, back to the map. Back to that roots page. I wanted to see that roots again. Where is it? Alexi 3, Alexi Blue Bell from 9,000 to 15, or pistons from 9,000 to 15,000 feet. 10,000. I think we're going to go a little bit higher than 10,000, but we'll see. Um, yeah, probably. Let's take a look at the, the winds aloft here. Winds aloft, IFR, easterly. What are we looking at? Wind effects not calculated. Cruise TAC is required. Uh, fine cruise TAC, my booty. Uh, so what that means is I got to go to this plane. I've got to edit this plane. I need a default perform basic performance profile. Cruise true airspeed. I don't know what is the. What did, what, let me see here. No, my fleet. Uh, Sierra Bravo edit. Category transpender cruise. What would the cruise speed be for a TBM 930? Okay, TBM 930 cruise true airspeed. Cruise EAS. Where are we seeing this? Where's the cruise airspeed? Oh my god, really? Really, dudes? Really? I don't know. I'm going to say... <sighs> I 
I gotta convert this from kilometers per hour. 250. 250. 250. Cruise fuel per hour. TBM 930 cruise fuel consumption per hour. 37. 37 gallon. Oops. Delete, delete. 37 gallons. Back. 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 All right. Now, if I hit this button. You have the cruise true air speed. Dude. Look at that rain. You hear the rain effect on the on the airplane? Use this profile. TBM. You have that, you have that back. Oh. Jesus. Bank default. Jesus. Now are you going to calculate it? No results for 10,000. Ah, of course. Of course. Of course, of course you would. I'm going to change airplanes to one that I know that my was working. We'll do 737 Alpha. There we go. Good lord. Okay, now switch planes back to the TVM. Ah, there we go. Okay. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get into the flight levels. Do the short road. Okay. Uh, so let's plan for 15,000 feet. One five zero zero thousand feet is what we will plan for. Okay, so 15,000 feet is going to be our plan. And that looks good. Both are IFR. Both are going to be crappy. That's the nature of the beast. All right, let's get this set up. Turn off the iPad, iPad for now. And let's uh, get in the airplane and see what we got going on. So first of all, we're going to go upstairs. We're going to go one, one, two. I need my light, please. Thank you. And then I'm going to go to fuel switch pump all the way over. Okay. Soft key. There we are. Everything is up and running and let's get her started. We're looking at the NG rise. It's good. Let's introduce fuel. And then go to high idle. And there's light off. Good. And then just knock this thing over here to bring us back to idle. Prop RPM is still coming up. PSA. Do, 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 do. Lights are off. Good. All right, get a weather briefing. Austin Executive is meet is uh, one and three quarter statute mild. Oh, 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 unknown precip. Yep, it's cold. It's three degrees centigrade, thirty seven Fahrenheit. The altimeter is three zero three four. So let's go ahead and set our altimeters. Three zero. 
four. Once and twice. The icing will be on. Zero, three, four. Good. Let's also make sure our lights are on. So let's get some panel lights going here. Uh, nav light is already on. Good. Turn on the dimmer lights. Taxi lights still. Wait. Oh. There we go. Taxi light does not need to be on just yet. Fusion fuel pumps are on. Fuel selector. Autopilot trim is coming on. LT. Good, good, and good. Let's come over here. Alternate static source. Just check over here. Cruise source. USB power. Good, good, good. You better give me there, bro. I got a dinner of this. I'll get you there, Mr. Poopy Shoes. Poopy Shoes! Uh, yeah. All right, good, good, good. We'll do the flight plan in a minute. Let's click over here. I do need my inertial separator will be on for right now. Airframe de-ice will turn on before that. Prop de-ice is on. Windshield defogger is going to be on. On. Pedo heats left and right are on. Good, good. And then have an air control. We are on auto for the bleeds. And the parking brake is set. Gear is down. Flaps are up. All right. We are looking good. No watches, uh, no warnings. So what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to put my speed bugs in here. So turn all my speed bugs on. Uh, then we're going to go back. And minimums we will set up as we do our approach. Traffic map. Eh, I don't need traffic map because we're not online. All right. That's good. We're going to switch you over to Navcom, even though we're not actually talking to anybody. That's fine. And then over here, we're going to the MFD, which is this screen here. Uh, we're going to go map. We're going to go full screen. We're going to go to flight plan. We're going to add our origin. KDC doesn't let me type. You stupid sum of... Push enter. Direct data entry, push enter. Oh, eh, whatever. Uh, K-E-D-C. K-E-D-C. Enter. K. Add destination. K-E-F. E. Right? E-F-D, I think. E-F-D. Yes, Ellington. Enter. K. We're going to go procedures. We're going to select the departure. From that, we are on runway 31 tonight. Our departure will be the Alexi 3 with the Alexi, trans Alexi transition off runway 31. Filter by departure do, 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 to Alexi. Let me just check what those points are real quick. So it's going to be. Manual sequencing to hook, then Alexi, no, okay, now transition, are we going all the way to Zenzi? Let me see here, no, to JLo, we're doing the JLo transition, duh, JLo transition, runway 31, Alexi JLo, show plate here real quick, Alexi JLo, JLO transition, yeah, right. And no aircraft, not yeah. Yeah. And then that we're gonna load that. And then we're gonna go procedure. We're gonna do arrival. We are going to load the Bluebell Four with the JLO transition, right? No, Bluebell Four with the. Well, that's fine. And then we'll plan for runway 35 left. Jalo, Bluebell, Count Day, Suns. Good, 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 good. 
load that. So here we go. Hook, Dean, Alexi, J Lo. Good, good, good. VNAV. VNAV enabled active VNAV waypoint is fine. We're just going to climb all the way up. Back. Okay, good, 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 good. That's all set. That's all ready to go. Last but not least, we're going to come over here to our flight plan here. We're going to set our heading bug and we are going to plan to fly out of here on a 330 heading. <laughs> the benefit <better for> transitions. <laughs> All right, we're gonna fly out of here on a 330 heading. That's what they told us. They told us to climb and maintain 6,000 feet and then further details. So we'll set the altimeter to 6,000 feet. But five, six, we will hit the heading bug. Uh, we will also hit the vertical speed bug because indicated airspeed mode just uh, doesn't work. So vertical speed, we will, oh, oh. 6,000. Thank you. And vertical speed will be we'll go at 15. Now we'll set for 2,000 feet per minute just to get started. Heading cruise indicated airspeed. Oh, yeah. I could do this too. That does not work in this plane. Indicated airspeed does not work. So we will just leave that there at 2,000. Alt select is in the load there. And I think we are just about ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to turn on that, turn on that. I'm going to turn off my light. We're going to go outside. We can't see crap because it's dark. But basically, why do I? I should have a beacon light. There's got to be a beacon light in this plane. I mean, hold on. Stand by. Stand by. There's, there, there's got to be another light in this plane. If I turn on pulse, nav, and strobe, what does that do? Interesting. Turn off the strobe. Okay. Turn off the pulse lights. Yeah, those are just those. But where's the rotating beacon? Where where's the Where's the ro where's my rotating beacon? Is there just no rotating beacon light? If I turn on taxi lights, what do I get now? Really? It has no beacon light. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. Well, uh, I'm going to need to back. I'm going to need this to back up a little bit. But first we are going. Oh, yeah. And then turn on that pulse light too. Uh, where pulse. There we go. Uh, back outside. All right. So real quickly, left aileron, right aileron, full back. Pull forward, right rudder, left rudder. All right, that looks good. Now, on the ramp here, we're going to need to back up a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to run over this guy. So I'm just going to call that guy over. Tell him, hey, back me up, buddy. Hey, okay, there we go. Is it going to do that awkward thing again where he runs into my propeller? Yep. Yep. Here we go. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. Don't, don't mind the propeller, buddy. 
Watch this. He's going to hook up to the middle of the plane. Then he's going to snap forward. Ready? Snap. And now he's going to back us up. Sure. <laughs> Lovely tug. Little slower, dude. Come on. Oh, my parking brake is on. <laughs> That'll make a difference. There we go. That's good. Shift P. Brakes are set. Parking brake on. Let that guy move out of the way. Let's go back inside the airplane. Thank you, sir. Reset the master caution because I did use the parking brake. I don't know why it gives a master parking brake, but whatever. Come on, dude. Get out of the way. Go ahead and turn on the uh, warp light here just so you can see it. Ah, you don't need to see it. We'll just do it for when we when I'm explaining the approaches and sh whatnot. All right, he's far enough out of the way. That's good. We're gonna get the taxi light on. I gotta t so turn. I gotta turn off the pulse light just to get a steady taxi light. That's just fun. Whatever. All right. Taxi lights are on. Good, 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 good. Okay. All right, here we go. Parking brake released. And let's uh, go ahead and get out of here. So let's give it a little throttle. And a little left. See you, sir. There we go. And here we're joining Alpha and we're going all the way to the end. All right, let's go ahead and check our icing situation here. So aircraft, the ice is going to be on. Ice, windshield, lights, pedo heats, both sides, stalls are on. Inertial separator is on, and we are good to go. Oops, let's just stay center line here. <laughs> a little nighttime flying. Urgh, give it a little stretch and a bend. Get my tune, Jacuzzi Baby. Bow, 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 now, 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 now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so we are going to rotate at 90, and we're going to climb out between one, about 124 is what we'll climb out at. Expect to enter the clouds pretty soon, but we should break out on top. So how's everybody doing today? Let me do the Steve 01 Kinevo. How's everybody doing today? You doing all right? Good. Good to hear. I hope you're having a good time. Good time. Yeah. Uh, it's a long runway, folks. And I'm doing a Southwest taxi at 20 knots. <laughs> oh, boy. By the way, let me know if the sim is too soft, too loud, needs to come up, come down. I've got it turned down a little bit here. Um, let me know, then we'll do that. This thing requires a lot of right rudder <laughs> just to stay on course. All right, we're going to do some braking here. Uh, some light braking as we approach the end of the runway here. There we go. All right, runway three one. All right, line up and wait. Line up and wait. TBM Niner Yankee Sierra. Approach. Pay. All right. Here we go. Line up and wait. We're going to set takeoff flaps. Flaps for takeoff is set. And line that sucker up there. We'll get the landing lights on. Lights. Camera transponder is transponding. Here we go. TBM. 819 Sierra. Fly heading 3. Uh, what did I say? Three three zero. Climb and maintain six thousand. Runway three one. Clear for takeoff. Runway three one. Clear for takeoff. Heading three three zero. Eight TBM. Niner Yankee Sierra. Here we go. Brakes released. And accelerate the power. Here we go. It's a little dark out there, man. You need better lights, TBM. Come on. Come on. Airspeed's alive. 60 knots. Eighty knots. Ninety knots. Rotate. Positive rate. Gears coming up. Pitch for one twenty. Here we go. And right turn and autopilot on. Flaps coming up. Vertical speed, please. Pull the power back just a wee bit. TBM Niner Yankee Sierra, content departure. Departure, Niner Yankee Sierra. Austin departure TBM A19 or Yankee Sierra 330 heading climbing 1700 to 6000 TBM A19 or Yankee Sierra radar contact turn right heading 090 continue the climb right turn 090 Niner Yankee Sierra All right bring her around to the right All right, so if we look at the departure plate, flying the instrument departure, turn this on here, click, and plate Alexi 3, they are going to vector us to hook, okay, 
until we're at or above 5,000. So that's why I'm climbing all the way up to 6,000. So I won't turn us in towards hook until I'm at that 6,000. Now, we're doing 182 right now, so I'm going to increase the vertical speed just to bring that speed down. So I'm going to set that. We're set at 3,200 beats per minute. These controllers sound nice. Yeah, they're not bad. They're doing all right. They're doing all right. All right, nothing to really see outside. Master caution, because my ITT temp is too high, so I'll just bring that back. That's all right. Thousand to go. And so now I can make that right turn towards hook, which is at a heading of about one zero zero. So we will uh, basically set the turn here. Heading bugs fly heading one 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 zero zero. TBM one nine eight Sierra. So we'll just turn right here. Intercept that. Continue the climb. Climb and maintain one five thousand. One five thousand. Nine eight Sierra. So set one five thousand. Hit that vertical speed button. Vertical speed. Just keep climbing. Altimeter one five thousand. And then what I can do here is I can come over here and I can go hook direct to activate direct to and then hit nav. And now we're going to do direct hook. And climbing 15. Vertical speed is currently set to 1700. I could probably increase that some more. We are high enough. I can take off my. Uh, why would I do that? No. Uh, I could take turn off the inertial separator. Uh, the pitot heat, stall heat needs to be on. Reframe. Probably can take off the de ice. Fuel imbalance. Uh oh. Whoops, 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 whoops. Fuel auto. Are you going to switch? I need you to burn out of the right tank. What are you burning out of out? All right. Switch to the right tank. Burn out of the right side now. You should be set. Fuel selector should be set to auto. And you're on the right side now. All right. Yep, thank you. This is the base MSF. The MF Flight Sim. Yes, this is the base version. I have not loaded any mods here. All right, climbing, climbing. Speed's doing good. 140, 180. Doing 150. Everything seems to be a good. Uh, jobs a good and. Autopilot's autopiloting. It looks like we're out of the clouds. So if I turn on the ice lights and I look out on the wings, the wings look good. So we'll just go ahead and turn off that. Uh, probably turn off that. And we'll turn off the prop ice for now. Come on. Off. Uh, oh, wait. That... That may be one of my switches here. No, nope, that one. That one. There we go. All right, pedo heats are still on. The plane is planing. Yes, the plane is planing. All right. Checking things here. Electrical is good. Fuel, yep, definitely got an imbalance, so we are burning out of the right side now. Burning 65 gallons per hour in the climb. That's one hell of a burn. And cabin pressure is green and green. We are climbing. Differential is increasing. Good. 
Green, 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 green. Good. Looking good there. Okay, everything is good. There. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my plate. I'm going to go to the ILS plate for 3.5 left. And I am going to load in the localizer for that. So that's COM2, that's NAV2. Audio, radios. No, 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 go back. Come to monitor. Okay, that's just thousand to go. Uh, huh. No. Okay. I don't load in the navcoms here. That's interesting. Uh, I guess the flight plan loads it in automatically. That's interesting. Uh, active nav is going to be the FMS. All right, making that turn towards Alexi now, and fifteen thousand feet. Okay, well that's cool. A okay, fine. Map settings. North up, map sync. Track back through aviation. Radar is on. We are out of the range. Traffic is on. Terrain is on absolute. Good, good, good. Traffic weather. Here's my weather radar. And if I do this to half, and then I come over here, I can put the other half over here, I can put that on, like, weather, and then this on the map. So now I have the weather radar over there. Utilities. Shit. Oh, right. Oh, I'll set you to put you on the navcom. I don't know why you call this a navcom if I can't freaking, you know, do anything. Uh, we're going to say we got uh, 0410. Uh, altitude reporting. Yep. Ident. All right, 214 miles. We're, we're topping out here. We're cruising out. We're still burning 63 gallons an hour. That's that's pretty rough. Um, we are approaching J Lo. According to my map, we're a little off course. Definitely, we are definitely crabbing. How do I get PFD? Map settings, PFD settings, synthetic terrain. Ooh, we don't need it though. We'll be blue over brown. Destination Adis is one three five point five seven five. Did that? Did you guys hear that? Did you hear that destination Adis thing? Which does remind me, I do need to pick up the weather in. In that so weather is currently overcast 3025 on the barometric pressure so we'll go ahead and just set that 3025 one two times just so we are already done there um,
All right. Bup, 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 bup. Circuit breaker light. Wow, look at all those. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Am I still showing a fuel imbalance? No, I'm not showing a fuel imbalance. We're still burning out of the right side. That thing still says right. Okay, cool. Okay. And there's J-Lo. Uh, what I want to know, true airspeed, two... 275, that's nice. That's nice. All right, let's bring power back, 75% power. So let's bring the torque back to 75%. There we go. That's about 70, 70. Or 75, right, right, right in there. Um, the other thing I want to see here is MFD. Uh, give me flight plan, give me VNAV, top of descent, one minute. Wow, top of descent, one minute. Okay, so we need to look at the Bluebell transition, because we are on the way to Bluebell. So, here we go. Uh, air server, come online. Here we go. Um, plate, Bluebell 4. All right, so we are from JLO to Bluebell. So, as we look at this, JLO... Bluebell at 9,000. So, set altimeter to 9,000. Liner thousand. I'm in pitch mode. Why am I in pitch mode? Am I not going for... And then, uh... Top of descent, four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and start with our vertical speed. We're gonna come down 1500 feet per minute. Nope, 9,000. Vertical speed, 1500 feet per minute, right? Nope, 1700. Five, six, seven. And we begin our descents. TBM 819 Yankee Sierra, descend and maintain at 9,000 feet. Set and maintain 900,000 feet, TBM 9 Yankee Sierra. We are just not at all holding our course, or at least we're not following the magenta line. But that's okay. Uh, and then if I come back, all right, so that's weather radar, that's my map, that's fine, that's fine. I don't like this view. HSI. Oh, that's cool. Back. PFD settings. Very. I don't need you to split. You can go back. All right, so we need Bluebell at 9,000, and then Sunday at 9,000, right? Yeah. Oh, what do we got? We got some turbulence. Let's pull the power back. Why this pulse lights should be on. Strobe lights on, nav lights on. Am I going to hit blue bell at nine or thousand feet? Well, I think, I think we're doing okay. All right, and then let's go ahead and choose our uh, approach plate. We are going to do the ILS Zulu 3-5 left. Transition will be vectors. I don't know. Let me see here.
Uh, transition will be... Well, you're not really don't want Trinity. Uh... Thousand to go. What is T'Pau? T'Pau? That is not the initial approach fix for 3-5 left. Is it? Oh, it is. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, and then let's look at the RNAV GPS. Yeah, we'll do from WeSim. All right, let's go back. We're going to do the approach. We'll do the RNAV GPS. Uh, three, five left. RNAV GPS, three, five left. LPV from WeSim. Uh, minimums are Class A, LPV, 228. 228. Minimums, 228. Enter. Uh, preview to load. We some RNF GPS load. Uh, why are we in heading mode? You should be in nav mode. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on with my stick? Sticky is being... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Woo! <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Weird. All right, so the plane is not turning. Why is the plane not turning? So, heading, right turn. We're gonna make this sucker move. For whatever reason, it got out of that mode. And you also should be in alt mode. Okay, so RNAV GPS from WeSim Hashu 2400. Got it. Okay. Go back to the map. Man, that was that's that's weird. Uh, we're gonna continue to rotate the heading until we are kind of back on course. It's a little odd. A little odd what this plane is doing. Not sure what's going on there. It's all right. But I need to be heading to cows. Actually, we'll do this. Proceed direct Sunday. Direct Sunday. Sunday. Direct. Activate. Nav. There we go. FMS is taking over now. Yay! Okay, good. Figuring that out. And I'm just going to remove cows from my flight plan here. Remove from root. Boom. And now we are going direct Sunday. And then, uh, okay, yes. And then in here, I'm going to go procedure uh, approach RNF GPS 35 left from Wetham. Add that to the route. And so, <coughs> once we hit Sunday, we will then go direct Wesham. We'll activate the, uh, activate that. Now, if I look at the dealios here, and I'm going to cross the Bravo shelf. So what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to go ahead and start our descent. Uh, so let's, uh, in order to avoid the Houston Bravo shelf, which is here, 
4,000 feet, so we're going to descend and maintain 4,000. So, altitude set 4,000. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Vertical speed down. And just start off at 1,000 feet a minute. That's fine. And we'll pull the power back so we don't overspeed. All right, procedure, approach, activate. And now we're going to go to Wiesen. Looking outside, definitely looks like some clouds, and the outside air temperature is what? Uh, outside air temperature is three. So, I mean, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put the prop de-ice on. And the windshield de-ice on. Let me see the light. That looks okay. Alright, because we're on an IFR flight plan, <laughs> we are cleared to enter the Bravo. Bravo in 9 .7 miles. And I'm getting a little reminder that the Bravo is in 9.4 miles. Thank you, I know. Now, overhead, you're going to have planes approaching into Houston, and they're up there at like 9,000 feet at this point. So we want to make sure that we want to get below that. And then as we cross into the Bravo, we can see here that the approaching planes are going to be at about uh, 6,000 feet, Any, you know, 6,000 feet and up. So we want to make sure that we are below those levels. Whoops. Get out of there. Clear out of that. Outside air temperature is warming up nicely. Let's do a quick check of the weather. What is the weather at our destination? So I'll just come over here. And, well, you know what we can do? We can do it here in the chat. So, METAR, KEFD. KEFD, at three, on the third at five, four, Zulu time. Winds are three, two, zero at 11. Seven statute miles of visibility, overcast 900 feet. So we should be able to get a visual approach. Temperature six, dew point four, altimeter three zero two five. Good. Right. Uh, let's go back to the plate. Thousand feet to go. Let's go back to the plate. Let's look at the RNAV GPS 35 left. Excuse me. The approach course is going to be 354. So I'm just going to put my heading bug here. I'm just going to match my heading bug up to where I'm going right now. But know that we want to do course 354. Unfortunately, I don't get a course knob on this thing, so I can't set that. But the course will be 354, uh, which is just off of due north, right? 
Uh, runway landing, 9,000 feet. Touchdown zone elevation, 28 feet. Airport elevation is 33 feet, right? So it's pretty much sea level. Uh, missed approach, climb to 1,500, and then a climbing right. Sugarland Regional is below us. Yes, we got you. Missed approach, climb to 1,500, then climbing right turn to 3100 direct. Climbing right turn. Oh, climb to 3100, direct Watfo, and hold. Right. So, uh, 1500, then 3100, and we get out of there. Um, if that is the case. Uh, those are the frequencies. We're not bothering with that. Uh, so, at we sim, we sim. We should be at about 2400, or we should be descending to 2400, so we can hit Pashu, the initial fix, at 2400, and make our way in there. LPV approach, we're category A. Uh, it's 228 by 40. Uh, the, we're going to do a full LPV. LNAV, VNAV, uh, if we were just doing LNAV, VNAV, then we'd have to do it at 500, circling 440, so on and so forth. Uh, for those details. And then last but not least, let's read the no oh, the minimum safe area is 3100 feet is the minimum safe vectoring altitude. So uh, we will probably uh, go ahead and uh, descend there to that once we get a little bit closer here. Um, yeah, let's read the notums here. So the notums here, uh, taxiways closed. Well, the uh, ILS 35 left is out of service. Okay, infrared approach procedure, circling category. De okay, just checking, just checking. Those are my pulse lights going off. The pappies are out of service. Interesting. Okay. Uh, amendments, amendments, amendments. Okay, 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 okay. Yep, acknowledged. Let's go back to the map. See where we are. I think we can venture a little more power here. Let me just check. Okay, good. It did automatically switch on me. So it is now burning out of the left side. So it is going back and forth now. It is balancing. Yay! Airplane is planing things. Now, of course, Houston would not be just letting us go direct to Wiesem. They'd be turning around and saying, okay, you're going to go here, you're going to go here, you're going to go here. I want you to descend and maintain, do these things. We are technically on the bottom of the Bravo shelf right now. Um, and who knows? They might clear us through. The, they probably would clear us through this part of the Bravo anyways. Uh, we got Sugarland up here to our left. Um, Houston Intercontinental IAH is uh, two back here to our north, uh, northwest, northeast, and then Hobby is pretty much right off our wing, right over there, Houston Hobby. But as you can see, we're right here at the cloud deck, looking at that overcast 900. Yeah, that's great. Great. So... Okay. Now, if only all these flights in the sim ca counted towards my proficiency. <laughs> uh, or my currency. I mean, I guess they do count, they just don't account in the official logbook. Besides, I'm flying a plane I'm not rated for. It's alright. CBM, Niner Yankee Sierra, descend and maintain 3,000. Descend and maintain 3,000, Niner Yankee Sierra. Down to 3,000. 
vertical speed. Just go at 500. <coughs> okay. Where is why why is that off? Where is my those those are off. I wanted those on. Speed 232, ground speed to 250, outside air temperature is 6, ISA deviation is minus 2, so it is colder than normal, but we do have, and we are now in the Bravo, that's okay. You've busted the Bravo, bro. Green, green. Scoreboard says we're in FMS, we're in autopilot, yaw damper's on, we're in vertical speed, 500 feet per minute, descending. And we're currently 16.6 miles from Wessum. So whenever you see flashing like that, that's from our lights. That means we're in a cloud. And what I'm going to do here is turn on the ice light, and then we're just going to make sure. Not seeing any signs of icing, not looking in the corners of the windows. Everything looks okay. And now it's telling me the Bravo is above. All right, we'll turn off the iPad. So, plan of attack. When we land 3-5 left, we are going to... Uh, uh, we will be exiting left. That is the plan. Exit left, taxi to signature. Definitely see some stars out here. Let's take a look outside the plane. I'm kind of in and out of the clouds right now. But dude, look at this. I've made it from Austin to the Houston area in, I mean, I've only been streaming an hour and 14 minutes. This flight has not been that long, so. All right, we're holding at 3,000 feet. That's good. We're just going to keep doing that and keep keep making our way in here. Now, we're going to fly the full approach, you know, just uh, get that going and and see how that goes. But I have made an executive decision. That camera is going to go right over there. I know exactly where it's going to go. It's going to sit right over there. That way it doesn't shake when I shake the sim, too. How are we doing, buddy? We're approaching Wessum. We sim! Yes. We sim! Yeah. All right. Two miles. 
All right, here we go, making that left turn. Let's go ahead and set our heading bug now. Match heading bug over here. There we go. And pass you at 2,400. So let's I had to plug my phone in at Coast. <laughs> Did I make my dinner reservation? Hey, we're on the approach to landing right now. Uh, Gunner, we'll be there here. We'll be on the ground in about uh, 10 minutes. I think. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take her all the way down to 2000. Altimeter 2000. And once again, we're just going to bring her down at about. 200 feet a minute. We're, we're not, we're just taking it nice and slow. Right. Uh, estimated time to, to, to destination is five minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah, so about 10 minutes. We're also gonna start slowing up to approach speed. So I wanna bring the speed back to about 180. And because we're below 3,000 feet, inertial separator is coming on. And what that inertial separator does is it basically opens a flap underneath the intake for that for the uh, turbine engine, so that if any debris were to get sucked into that intake, instead of going into the turbine, it'll fall out. However, we do get a little bit of loss of horsepower when we uh, reduce that. So. Okay, pass you at or above 2,400, which is exactly what we're going to hit here. Back when maybe a little bit fast. All right. And let's arm the approach. One eighty, good. Let's go ahead and get our landing lights on. Landing lights are on. About 180 knots there. It's good. We'll keep rolling the speed back. And we will... How far away are we? Twelve miles? Okay. At Marzi, we'll put the gear down. We'll actually put in the first notch of flaps here. Rule 1A in your chat. Rule 1A. <laughs> Does that mean I'm exempt from being a person? Hey, 404. And yes, you are exempt from being a good person. <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take you to notice that. I wrote that you too long. Thank you, Delta. Yes, thank you. See, this is where I was saying to say that it was going to get annoying with the four flight. All right. Approach to landing. Here we go. All right, we're at 2,000 feet. Marzi. Marzi, we need to be at 2,100, so we shouldn't start descending until after Marzi. Yep. When we got initial plants of flaps, we can go ahead and continue to reduce speed. Our approach speed is about 80. Our final approach speed is 80. Oh, you get all the pop <laughs> You switched to Firefox from Chrome, so I get all the pop-ups like I've never been somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I prefer Brave. 
I, I use Brave for work, I use Firefox and Chrome. I go back and forth. How are you feeling, buddy? And then you got the vid, so... Ah, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Dirty ass. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, that sucks, man. Sucks. Just rest up. Plenty of fluids and a whole lot of Tylenol. That's all I could say, man. All right. So here's the little uh, vertical indicator. So what should happen is as we fly closer, that'll uh, approach here. And we've got Marzi here. And so we're going to go ahead and go gear down. Um... So as that approaches, because I'm in approach mode, we should get vertical guidance. If that goes more than one dot below, then I am... am okay, locked? Yes. GP, good. Glide path is set. And we are descending. Bundaba. Let's go ahead and reduce speed and get that landing flaps. Going down to just over 200 is going to be our minimums. Okay, speed is reducing greatly, so we'll just. that there looking good buddies looking good I still do not have the runway though but that's okay it said uh, the ceiling was 900 so we will keep going and we will expect to see it once we break out at 900 Okay, there's 85, there's the approach speed. We are four miles out. All right, landing gear is down. Three green, one, two, three. Good, good, good. Landing lights are on. Pumps are checked, fuel looks good. Everything's in the green. All right. Flight attendants, we prepare the cabin for landing. Getting a little slow. Let's uh, add some power. I'm gonna. Final runway three, five left. All right. Runway's in sight. Let's go ahead and uh, turn off the autopilot and fly this puppy in myself. Can't let out of the airplane have all the fun. It's already set up everything, so I just got to sit here and manage the power and just keep it on track. Okay. Did they simulate that the Pappies are out of service? 
Really? Oh, that's cool. Either that or, or they just didn't put him in at this airport. But that's all right. We are on the visual now. We are flying in visually. There's, there's 500. There's the minimums. We are landing. Bit of a crab going on. Okay. And we'll just let it fly. There we go. Correction. Reversers. And then come out of reverse. And we are looking for an exit at Delta. Welcome to Houston Ellington Field. Home of Flight Sim Expo 2023, flightsimexpo.com. Check it out. Clear the runway, I'm gonna clean up the plane. And taxi pulse lights off. We'll make this left on hotel. So, to answer the question of the title, can I fly the TBM? I think that's a pretty good yeah. <laughs> But it is what it is. It is what it is. And then we're going to make the next uh, right onto the ramp. If I can see where the ramp is. Technically, I think this is all ramp. But oh, look, there's a right turn indicator right here. Okay, follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Here we go. Ugh. Hmm. And we're in the ramp. Find a nice place to park. We're going to go to VIP parking. I don't see anybody out here. Uh -oh. According to my map, there we go. This is signature. It's 
somewhere around here. Oh look, cars! Hey! Hello, cars. Ooh, park right here next to this, uh... What's that, supposed to be like an Aston? Alright, parking brake is set. Okay, uh, taxi lights are off. Pulse lights are off. Nav strobes coming off. Good, 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 good. Switch you over to feather mode. Come on, feather. Feather! Oh, freak. There we go. Feather, and then off. Shut down. Shut down. There we are, people! Welcome to Houston. If we change the weather here, change the time of day. in the grass. Celestial soups on Fairdale. Alright, man. Fairdale laid. Sweet. Alright, so. Um, am I not in. I'm not in the right. Oh, no. Why is it got me in? It's not in putting me in drone mode. Oh well. Yeah. Whatever. All right. It didn't put me in drone flight mode. I was gonna show around, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey. We did it. We're here. We're parked. Parked by the cars. It's the ramp agent's problem. Get us out of here. All right. Your Uber's here. <laughs> so thanks for hanging out tonight, guys. This was a test. Just uh, I, I got my rig back, put back together. Um, by the way, if you haven't heard, the uh, I use the honeycombs, and I know a lot of other people do. Um, honeycomb Charlies, the rudder pedals, are on pre-order for about three hundred and fifty bucks. Um, I have pre-ordered mine. Hopefully, they'll arrive by June. Hope you do the same if you're interested in them. I know some people are like uh, rough. You know, rough there, this or that when it comes to honeycomb, but I still uh, like their stuff and I like it better than the Logitech piece of junk that I have. So, um, air server seemed to work tonight. So, the machine seems to be up and running, seems to be doing good. So, we'll try to do a little bit more regular flight simming and stuff like that. Maybe this weekend we'll do something in that. Maybe I'll take out the Seminole or we'll go do um, something else there. So, um, go to the main menu here. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'm going to go cook me some dinner, hang out. I haven't eaten yet. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. So everybody, uh, you guys take care, all right? Go find somebody else to watch. I'm not going to make you raid. I don't do that kind of crap. I don't need the those things. You're like, go find somebody else. All right, see ya.